Dragon, SpaceX on the big loop, all hooks open. And Dragon separation confirmed. All 12 hooks now open. Hooks all open and release confirmed at 11.05 a.m. Central Time while Dragon and the International Space Station flew 259 statute miles above the North Atlantic Ocean. We're sad to see you go. We wish you Godspeed. Uh, safe re-entry and landing and uh, calm seas. We're going to miss you guys. We're thankful for your mentor mentorship. Enjoy your time with your families. The uh, Good Word Station, it was an uh, absolute pleasure and privilege to, uh, to serve on the space station these past six months. And a uh, joy to get to work with you all uh, for the past couple of weeks. We know that you're going to uh, continue to do amazing things on station. We look forward to seeing you uh, back home as well. And those were words from the crew on the ISS to the crew inside Dragon Freedom, giving them farewells as they head on their journey to back to home on Earth. And Freedom SpaceX on the big loop depart burn zero was nominal. For astronauts, time aboard the orbital outpost is complete following a six-month science and research mission. Undocking occurred at 11.05 a.m. Central Time, 12.05 p.m. Eastern Time, while the International Space Station was flying over the North Atlantic Ocean. Next up will be a series of departure burns to push Dragon further from the space station. To take us through those burns, I will turn it back over to Hawthorne. Kate, Sandra? Thanks, Shaniqua. I just want to point out that awesome view that we have, that we had moments ago. There it is. That is a view from Dragon as it leaves the International Space Station. So it's incredible that it was just there moments ago <laughs> and it's moving already as we can see further and further away. And they were docked to the Node 2 Zenith port or space facing port. Um, and you did see a little bit of uh, those thruster firings take place already. Uh, that was for burn zero, which we did hear was nominal. Um, lasted just a couple of seconds long, but that little bit was enough to push it away from the space station. And we are now awaiting departure burn one. So there's a live view inside Dragon Freedom. On the right-hand side would be Pilot Bob Hines, and on the left-hand side would be Commander Chell Lindgren. And they'll continue to monitor on the screens inside of Crew Dragon Freedom as they continue the journey back home. But we are hearing that everything is proceeding as expected. Um, we are targeting that departure burn one about two minutes from now. Departure burn one will increase that initial opening rate to between Crew Dragon and the space station. At this point in time, we are utilizing the Draco thrusters, uh, which are on board Dragon. Um, this departure burn, we're expecting it to last about 21 seconds. At this point, Dragon is steering itself. Uh, the approach and undocking, um, you know, basically getting to station and leaving it, are everything is autonomous. However, the crew is able to uh, take over at any point in time if necessary. But as you can see right there, um, they're able to follow along with everything happening with the capsule and their progress uh, for their departure um, there on those screens that we saw moments ago. Yeah, exactly right. And during docking, when we have a vehicle that's approaching space station, it can take a little bit longer because we have these hold points that we wait at um, for safety per 
purposes and precautions. But during undocking, it can happen a lot quicker. And, and you really saw that. They just undocked a few minutes ago, and now they're already backing away. Uh, we're moving into the next departure burn, um, which we should hear the call out that it has begun um, any second now. And again, you said uh, this is a pretty short burn. will only last about 20 seconds or so. So standing by for the call that um, departure burn one has begun. Again, departure burn one will last for, will last for about 20 seconds. And we are hearing that the burn is underway. So this burn is going to increase the initial opening rate between Crew Dragon and the space station. And as you mentioned, Kate, that um, this burn ut utilizes the service section Dracos. Freedom, SpaceX on the big loop, depart burn one nominal. At this time, you are go to doff suits per procedure 4.012 if desired. If you do take the suits off and stow them, we ask that you stow with visors closed. And finally, a reminder that the big loop will be deactivated following Dragon's exit from the approach ellipsoid. We uh, have copies here, go to um, doff suits. If we, yes, when we stow them, we'll stow them with visors closed. And uh, we will not the big loop as we uh, Good copy. And we did hear confirmation that that departure burn one is complete and went perfectly as expected. It lasted 21 seconds and used those service section Dracos. We also heard some words um, from the ground up to the crew letting them know that they have the option to take off their spacesuits if they would like. Uh, they don't have to though, um, but if they would, care to do so, they're able to do so now at this point. Uh, Dragon is already about 175 meters away from the space station. And so the next major milestone that we're looking for is when Dragon exits the keep out sphere. That's that imaginary sphere or boundary 200 meters in radius around the space station. And it is one of several safety zones set up to govern visiting spacecraft, either arriving or departing the space station. But before moving into the keep out sphere, spacecraft have to be configured where they would not cross the imaginary boundary for at least four orbits, even if the spacecraft lost all maneuvering for some reason. Um, so the vehicle is now um, about 207 meters away. So it And Freedom SpaceX on the big loop to confirm cameras are external. So that was SpaceX core, which you see there, I'll solve moments. Freedom Depart, the keep out of the wind. I want to uh, just thank the Space Station program and all of our international partners uh, for the incredible training and uh, on-orbit support.